How do you handle the case when your polynomial in A has this form? A minus one root to a multiplicity times A minus another root to a multiplicity, et cetera, et cetera, like this. Some teeth root to a multiplicity T. You use the commutative law and induction. So, Apply this to a function, you have to get the solution to this. So if you have a solution f, so if you take p of a times f, apply it to f and you get 0, then you do exactly what we just did, and you apply it to an f, then I know the form of this. It has to be a solution to that. So that gives me a non-homogeneous case, just like in the little one. But remember how different operators behave on polynomials. They don't kill them. So when you apply a minus s to a minus r, it doesn't kill it. All right. And so, now it's just an induction on the different roots. Okay. If you haven't been listening, turn off your cell phones. We're, we're back to reality. Okay. I, I wanted to do that because I, I think at Georgia Tech you should know what holds the bridges up and uh, keeps the airplanes in the sky. And if you can never figure out what makes the elevators go up and down, there's a job for you here at facilities, because they can't do that. <laughs> and by the way, why is it that a staircase coming down should be tilted backwards and all the water collects at the back? I don't think that's right. And in about another month, I'm going to be risking my life every day. I come to work and I park in the garage and I go down these flights of stairs and there's ice just frozen to the stairs because it collects. Some brilliant engineer should have used the theory of advancement operator equations and the linear independence of this to drill holes in the back of those stairs <laughs> so the water would drain when it's not frozen or do something. But okay. I, want, I don't want you to be those kinds of engineers and computer scientists and mathematicians. I want you to, to make good stuff. Okay, so this was, this was for your educational enrichment.